Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we've got Arsenal at home in the Premier League as the top of the table clash as they sit second currently and we're well clear at the top. And then Real Sociedad away in the Champions League and I have no idea how good they're going to be. We'll see. They lost the first game against Lazio. Uh, it was away from home though, so maybe they are good, maybe they're bad. Who knows? We'll see anyway. I wanted to show you the finances just briefly here. We are still 24 million overdrawn. We've Lost 58 million this season. We do have 88 grand in transfer budget left. And we've got 125k in wage budget left. Which means I could sign somebody on free. And yes, I've destroyed the club by signing players in the never never. Because every time I ask now, and this is what I want. Make board request. Oh, no, that's a budget adjustment. I want a new stadium. And every time they tell me to do one. Because we really do need a new stadium. Anyway, enough of that. Since you were last with me, we carry on just... Absolutely battering teams after the 12 0 win, which is bizarre to see in the Champions League. However, Real Madrid did win 11 0 as well, so it's not just us. We beat Watford 4 0. This could have been 12 0. We really, really battered Watford. And then Brignon got injured in midweek, which was really annoying. But against Bradford, I mean, look at this two tens in there. Del Foss got four, it was 7 0. We played three at the back at one point. With no defender, really, a midfielder sitting at the back because we just absolutely battered them. Again, 7-0 flat at Bradford. It could have been 27-0. And that's with a completely rotated team. I mean, look, Beck playing. Salazar's playing. Salcedo got a match. You know, Biazzoli got on there. You know, it, it, we just battered them. So, into today's game against Arsenal and Sociedad. Now, we've got a bit of a problem because we are missing... Well, we're missing Brignon, which is a big miss. So, Chavez have to go at the back here. We're going to go with Marzuki, Bruski, Kif, Chavez, Maravic. Morel and Estevez isn't the greatest of midfields. Because Chavez has to go in here, and we've had to push Brito out wide because we're missing, uh, um, where's he gone? Nicholas for a little while. And Davos. It, you do what you do, don't you? Troncoso the way. El Adrissi, Grinelli up front. Again, Grinelli starts to score a few goals. He's got five now. He's got more than El Adrissi, but the top score scorers obviously. Where's he, Nicholas? We should start to beat Arsenal, shouldn't we? Especially with Brito playing. I mean, look at that. Maravich and Brito are just superb. Maravich has just come on and leaps and bounds. He's just brilliant. I mean, he's better at centre-back now than he is in the, at right-back. A ball-playing defender. Boy is good in midfield as well. He's a four-star midfielder. You know, so he can cover anywhere. So if I'm ever struggling for midfielders and I've got more right-backs, he can go in there and play just as well as the rest of them. Again, we should beat Arsenal. We should. Uh, well, we'll see anyway. They are now managed by Christian Galtieri. I did say Galtieri, didn't he? He's fresh from invading the Falklands. He's come over to manage Arsenal. And yes, I'm well aware. There should be an eye at the end of there for that. Their team has nobody. Is Genus Canazares real? Lily Green, they got from Man United, but he's not real. Max Aaron's on the bench. Fico Fikio Samori on the bench. That's it, isn't it? That, not many real players left anymore. Pump fists. Uh, we can we get revenge? Do we owe them up for anything? No, we don't. Yeah, media give you a lot of attention lately. We'll say that. We'll say that. If you're wondering what's going on with my hair, we're going to try and get a cut tonight. The it's trying to get a barber's is impossible, absolutely impossible at the moment. The whole of Belfast wants a haircut. So yeah, it is it, it is getting worse. So tomorrow in tomorrow's video, you should see me with zero hair, basically. Anyway, they're coming forward and they've scored. After a minute. And you know what I was saying? We should be beating Arsenal. We're seven points clear of them. I didn't show you the table. I'll show you it now when it comes up. We are massively ahead of everybody. We've won. We scored, we got 18 out of 18. Uh, but we're 1-0 down. Maybe Arsenal are good. You can hear my dog bark in the background. He, she is not impressed that we're losing to Arsenal. Oh. Anyway, here we go. Look, if we'd have drawn this, we're seven points clear of Arsenal at the moment. But this will take it down to four. Um... We're not doing very well, are we? We're positive. Let's go attacking. I, I didn't mean to do that. Attacking. Yeah, like that. Do it. I mean, this midfield too. Estevez is only young. Morel, he's a decent player, but he's not great. Troncoso's not playing very well. And he's had some great games recently. This is not us. I mean, the last games you've seen us, we've absolutely smashed everyone. And we just don't seem to be getting any shots off. Oh, we've got plenty of the ball, but one highlight, the half. Just the one. We're, we're thrash arms, I say. I'm far from pleased. I've just seen from this team. Because that was poor. I know we're missing Nicholas, but that doesn't mean Troncozo's rubbish. He's usually just the best player on the pitch. 
We've got a highlight. Way Maravic to Estevez. It's cleared away. So I think I'll play called alcoholic. Kift into Estevez again. Chavez gives it to Estevez. Estevez back to Chavez. Chavez brings it forward. Gives it to Granelli. Granelli out wide to Maravich. Maravich can give a ball into the box. He can. Morel. Ah, uh, is that Granelli? What a goal from Granelli that is. First time. Nod down for Morel. I was dead. I was saying Morel isn't the best, but there you go with an assist with with his head as well. So Granelli gets. I mean, he's got the ball out wide there, and he's got into the box. He's nodded back. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was him. Did those two? I don't know. Maybe my eyes are deceiving me. And Grinelli did play that in to Maravic and then get into the box, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't Grinelli that ended up in that position. But who knows? Well, one all takes us back to seven points clear. Now, Spurs do have two games in hand here. Troncoso really isn't playing well at all. We're going to get him off. We can't be having players playing that badly. We'll get Del Foss on. He's just a goal-scoring machine at the moment. And as I do that, they nearly score. Why not? But let's see if Del Foss can pull us out of a, a bit of a rabbit hole here. It's headed clear, but Estevez picks it up in midfield. Estevez to Morel. Del Foss. Del Foss to El Adrissi. El Adrissi with a shot. It's a decent save. It's not the best save, but decent do I take a draw against Arsenal? I don't take a draw against Arsenal home. This let's go very attacking, um, and let's cancel that. And I want to demand more. Demand more. Come on, I want more boys. Bruski into Delfos. Delfos to Aldrisi. Morel with the shot. It's over the bar. See if Morel had scored that. I'd have been picking him every game. He doesn't score many. I don't think he's ever scored for us, to be honest. And it looks like it's going to be a draw. Which is really strange, considering how the last few games have gone. We've got a highlight right at the end of the game. Maravich to Estevez. Estevez to Maravich. Maravich down the line. Cuts it back to Estevez. Can... Estevez picks out Bruski. Bruski into Estevez again. He's getting a lot of ball. Estevez gives it to Maravich with a poor ball. But Granelli's there, and he, he's nodded it in. Uh, is that a goal? It looked offside to me. But it looks like... I'm going to go down to cautious now. How lucky is that? This looks miles offside to me. I mean, it's a poor ball. Maybe he is on. What is the goalkeeper doing? Is he drunk? Is there something wrong with him? Has he got... Is he a few sandwiches short of a picnic? Yeah, this will show us. It. Why did it only show up from there? That's really weird, isn't it? Because definitely offside. But it's shown it... I don't know. I don't care. We've won 2-1. There we go, much better. You played well today, why can't you perform like... We've just come off winning 12-0, 4-0 and 7-0. Very nice victory, well done. What the heck? My assistant manager is bizarre sometimes. It's what Theo Walcott. Maybe he's just annoyed if we beat Arsenal. There we go, we're 10 points clear of Spurs now. They do have two games in hand though, so it'll be back down to four. So you can do maths on the fly. And on to Real San Sebastian, which we all know, I think is Real Sociedad. Here you go, we saying we all know, but I think it's Real Sociedad. Someone let me know down the, down below if it is. But anyway, we'll give them a little bit of a rest for a couple of days there. Because obviously we've got a lot of injuries, so we'll rest them. I mean, look, Vibora's 30 now. I have, he is on the transfer list. No one wants to buy Vibora for 37 million at 30, though. I mean, he's 5 foot 7. Salazar's 5 foot 4. Gavi, the smallest player in the world, at 5 foot Anyway, I'm going to click on here to the Real Sociedad game, and I'll see you. Here you go. Rejected. New stadium. Anyway, see you in a second. Welcome back then for the Real Sociedad game. I did go and look it up just to make sure it's Real Sociedad, and it wasn't some obscure team in Serbia. Like, I got the AIK thing wrong. I was definitely right. It is Real Sociedad. No, I... One of the weird things about the Spanish League is some of them aren't licensed, like Betis and Sociedad. Is it a licensing thing, or... It doesn't matter, anyway. We're going to go with the same team. Marzuki, Bruski, Kif, Chavez, Maravic, Morel, Estevez, Troncozo, Brito, El Adrissi and Grinelli. We've gone down to Ballot. Why did I go down to Ballot? You know what? We'll go positive. I am not particularly worried about Sociedad. If we win this and then we beat Lazio in the next game, I'd say we're pretty much qualified. Antonio Conti is their manager, though, which could be... Ooh, it could prove difficult. But let's get into the dressing room and talk to many. I don't know if we're going to have any of their players at all. Pump fists, media give you credits. So let's get out here and win. How are they going to line? I just want to see how they line up. Uh, well, do the usual 4 2 3 1 formation that most people do these days. But we're, we're bolder than that. We go 4 2 4. Latti have already won 4 0. 
which, well, poor IEK are just going to get absolutely battered by everyone in this. Morel's got it, though. Morel into Troncosa. Troncosa's Granelli. El Idrissi hits the bar. And, of course, he spent a lot of time in Spain with Barcelona, El Idrissi, so he's well used to the heat in, are we in November, <laughs> October in Spain. Uh, anyway, Cousins has got it. Cousins has been a bit of a nuisance. He gives it out to Jose Maria Olatharbal, who obviously has retired from golf and is playing out on the wing now. Listen, I know the spelling's different. El Idrissi heads it down to Granelli. Granelli into Morel. Morel looks up, gives it to Granelli again. Back to Morel. Morel out to Troncoso. Troncoso gives to Morel again. Bruschi's into the box. He's had a shot and has gone out for the throwing. It was saved. Okay, you, you spur, your blushes are spared a little bit. It was saved. If that had gone off the throw-in and it wasn't on target, you're doing something wrong. But 15 minutes in, we've had a couple of, well, a couple of pot shots at goal. They haven't had a shot yet. This is why I'm not particularly worried about them. 9-3, like, no shots at all. Brito with the corner. El Adressi, he tries to nod it in. I need to change that, don't I? Granelli's there, and it's another corner, I think. We should have put that in. The problem is I've got El Adressi where... It's headed back to Brito. He's where Nicholas should be, which is heading corners. So maybe I should swap him and Granelli round. I probably, probably. Anyway, Bruski to Eladrissi. Eladrissi to Bruski. Bruski brings it forward. Still going with it. Still go. He's a good outlet. He skipped past the man. It's into the box. It's headed clear. Estevez to Morel. Morel to Troncoso. Bruski. Morel. Ah, how did that not go in? How did it not go in? The ball would not go in. Why will the ball not go in? I don't know. It needs to. They still haven't had a shot yet. It's all us. Resendo. Big long forward to the golfer. Troncoso's picked it up though. It gives it out to Bruski. Bruski again races forward. He's into the box. Gives it to Brito. Oh, Brito with the header. Right, what I'm going to do here is just quickly. And it makes sense to do this. If I swap these two round. But we go like this. Deep line forward support. El Idrissi is attacking. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. And at least then he can be at the front post heading the ball. Who's this taking this? Brito with a free kick. And he puts it in. Thank the Lord for that. Finally 1-0 up. Brito with a cracking free kick. Right into the top corner. The Darlington fans go wild in Sociedad. Look at this. The curl and that. It's really, he's just a great player, Brito, isn't he? He's just the best. I mean, he's definitely the best player in our team, which is saying something considering the players we've got. 16 shots, 8 on target, 2.1 XG. They haven't had a shot. Not one single shot. Happy with that so far. But at 1-0, it's always a bit scary because it only takes a set piece for them to score. But Eldris, he's got it. We know he's quick, he's got skill, and he'd give it straight away. Why not? Why not? Romero, out to Gerardo, back to Romero. Puts it out wide. But Maravich is in with a header. Salvador into Ramirez. Ramirez beats a man. He's still going, Ramirez. But Morel's done well there. He's got the ball back. Granelli picks it up. He looks into Troncoso. Troncoso's bring it forward. He has a shot from range. And it's a decent tip over from Romero. And we've got now a corner to see if this works. So we're aiming for uh, Granelli this time. Into the box. It's headed clear. It was aimed in the right place, but he didn't win the header. Can we get this off Salvador? Um, can we please get off Salvador? I'd like to not have a shot. And Kift does. Good lad, Kift. Chasing back. Great tackle. They've still not had a shot. Are they going to get one from the corner? Cousins, it's headed clear. Still no shot for them. Eladrissi picks it up. There's a player here. He's right here. Oh. Chavez has got it. Brings it forward. It's hoof forward. There was a player there to give to. It was clear. And we didn't do it. Blanco. Fresh from his exploits in Street Fighter 2. Brings it forward. And they've had a shot. They have had a shot. Wasn't a great shot. They've had two, apparently. We need to score a second. We really do. I can't be... Ha I don't want to be hanging on here. I mean, it doesn't look like we're hanging on, does it? Let's be honest, but... They've had three shots now, you see. Inter are absolutely battering Carabag 6-0. Rangers are losing again 2-0 to Real Madrid. Sifra scored twice. So he's a great player, Sifra. They want 300 million from though, so he's never coming here. Ramirez brings it forward. Ola Farble into Swiatek, and it's a good block by Chavez. See what I mean? It only takes one second for them to equalise here, and it'll throw all my plans out the window. Troncoso's knackered. 
We'll get, we won't be bringing on Coco. We're going to bring on Joey. We'll get Joey on there and put him as a winger. Go and wing it, Joey. You've scored quite a few goals recently as well. So Brito's tired too. I don't want to take Brito off. 25 shots, 10 on target, and watch them equalise from this corner. Ball into the box, head of clear. Brito's got it though, and he's coming away with it. He's still coming. He gives it to El Adressi. El Adressi's in. Can he finish? He can. That's game over. 86 minutes, 2 0 Darlington. Easy as you like. You know what? They like just giving me a little bit of a heart sack. A corner at the end of the game there when they have the shot on target. It's... <laughs> I thought El Adressi was offside there. But there we go. Hammers it home. How many goals he got this season? I can't see. I can't see, but that's game over, isn't it? Let's be honest. Get Maravich off because he's tired. Give him two minutes to sit down. And there we go. A 2 0 win. Easy, easy stuff this Champions League, isn't it? Happy result in where you played, boys. Well done. Are the fans happy? Are they? Let's see. Fans are all made up. Look at that. They're all made up. So, this is how it leaves things looking. We get 2.46 million for this. Brito on form. Two assists and a goal. Go ahead, Brito, lad. You were superb with the chances. Your goal was great, too. Uh, they want Chavez. They can't have... 95 million. 195 million, and he can go. And I can buy you three new defenders and a midfielder. Then. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the tables. We are top of the league. Spurs must have won one of their games. They're only seven points ahead of Spurs now. Nicholas still up here as a good player. Um, player of the matches, too. Second top goal scorer, despite being injured for the last few weeks. And still best average rating, which won't go down. Uh, league, Champions League wise, top of the league, 14 point, sorry, 14 goal difference, not 14 points. A goal difference of 14. We beat Lazio at home, which I think is the next episode we take a look. We beat Lazio at home, and I'd say we're through. Uh, I know Real Sociedad will beat AEK, but I can't see us losing to Real Sociedad at home after that performance. So we're going to come back for Lazio Liverpool. Yeah, that's when we'll come back. And. Just want to mention, thank you very much for the guys that come to the stream last night. We've moved clubs again. We've escaped Scotland until we, we're now in Holland. We are bottom of the league in Holland with Vitesse on them, uh, which is our, our stream's called um, Vitesse Feltz. It's Vitesse or Vitesse? It's called Vitesse Feltz anyway. So, listen, thank you very much for coming last night. I enjoyed it. It was good to get to a new team. We got a bit of money. A lot more money than we had at Kilmarnock anyway. Uh, Again, streaming Saturday night, Sunday night, 7 o'clock, twitch.tv forward slash echoes. Do come along if you if you haven't yet or you were considering it. We have a good chat. We're all fairly mature. We're all about my age. Not many youngsters come by to annoy us. So, yeah, come along. Uh, I want to thank all the new subscribers, or all the old ones for watching, of course, but we've got like 500 new subscribers in the last month, which is amazing. So thank you very much. If you are watching this, leave a comment below. I encourage people to yap at me or tell me what I'm doing wrong I really do if you are enjoying this please I don't know why my my pitch went up an octave there if you are enjoying this please like subscribe thanks very much for watching notification bells all that rubbish and I'll see you all again tomorrow